welcome back guys to my second Zelda walkthrough. Uh, this is for the first Zelda ever created and possibly the hardest game known to man. Uh, let's see. Many years ago, Prince Darkness Ganon stole one of the Triforce with power. Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with wisdom. She divided it into eight units to hide it from Ganon. Is it just me or is the wording a little off? But she broke her Triforce up into eight pieces and now we have to go find all of them. Uh, so probably the first maybe two segments of this video is just me going around the overworld collecting items. So if you're here for only the palaces, I advise you to skip ahead to part three. Um, so yeah, I also wanted to note that I drew my own maps of the overworld and the temples prior to starting this walkthrough, so hopefully that will minimize, minimize me wandering around like an idiot. So we just get the sword first and we're gonna, our first priority is to get 20 rupees for some bombs. So I'm just gonna head to the right, just an arbitrary direction and start collecting cash. Uh, as you can see, the wood sword can even one-hit these. Uh, what makes this strategy hard, though, is you only have three hearts in the overworld for a little while. And the overworld is brutal, so I might die here pretty quick. But I got a lucky stopwatch drop. But we'll see how I do. Just try to play it smart here. Uh, as you're playing through this game, a useful thing you might try is uh, search on the internet for a Zelda overworld map. Um, there's a lot of good ones online. And I used one to draw my own map, actually. And I'm just heading towards a shop that sells bombs, is all. Because once we get bombs, we can start getting uh, more money, hidden money, some heart pieces. And yeah, I'll tell you what our goal is after we find some. Maybe I can get some bombs from a monster, that would be awesome. Whoops. Uh, there's the bomb shop. Hopefully I cannot get killed. Oh, come on. Three minutes and 15 seconds in and I am dead. That's alright, I expected it. So once again, we're going to head up to the bomb shop and slaughter everything in the way. Uh, if you're not as lucky as I am, or you might be more so, you may have to kill more or less enemies to get the 20 rupees. Um, we're gonna need a lot of money in these few beginning stages, so it never hurts to have a lot. Or you could even draw a map as you watch this film. If you just get some graph paper or something, that makes it a lot easier. Oh, of course I get the stopwatch on the last enemy. Uh, so we're gonna buy some bombs. And we're gonna start opening up some caves, get some more money from monsters, get some money from people in the caves, and a heart piece or two. We'll backtrack a little here. Uh, this is the area just north of the starting area. I'll try to keep, uh, you know, referring to these screens in relation to that. But if you just bomb a door there, there's free 30 rupees. Now we need 60 rupees for the blue candle. That is our next goal. And here's the start area. 
head east again for a heart piece. Two fairy drops with one swing of the sword. Don't see that every day. And it's another stopwatch drop. If you can't get a rupee, you can swing your sword at it and that will collect it. Just like that one on the mountain there. Okay, there's a piece of heart right here. About four screens over from the starting area. Always, always, always pick the heart container. Because there's another shop where you can buy medicine from. Always pick the heart container. And one more heart container and we can get the white sword upgrade. All before Palace 1. That should make this game a lot easier. At least until we get to Palace 6. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Not looking forward to that at all. So we have the money for our candle, I'm just hacking my way towards the candle shop. Because the next item we buy will require 250 rupees. That might seem like a lot, but I know of a few places where you can get 100 free rupees. So it won't take too long. Could probably be in palace, start the palace walkthroughs in one or two more video segments. Once we get to these items, we can just continuously marathon non-stop the palaces. Okay, this isn't a store. Uh, this is just one screen north and one screen west of the starting area. sort of see it on that map that they give you up in the corner, that gray box. So there's the candle, that's what we need. Now we can really start bringing in the money. Uh, again, here's the 30 ruby cave, one screen north of the starting area. You can use the candle to attack. Just don't run into it yourself, there is friendly fire. You'll probably see me do that about 30 times. There's two more fairies with one sword swing. What is that? I need to save some of this, some of this luck. The fire travels two spaces, so stand two spaces away from your target, then fire. But don't go in here because that man takes your money. I was one screen off. Okay, it's one of these bushes here, not that one. The blue candle, you can only use one fire per screen, so just leave and come back to reset it. That's not it either. There it is. And this nice monster gives us money. 100 rupees, in fact. About one more of those and one more 30 rupees should be good. So we're going to head north now. And in the screen immediately to the north, burn the southwest bush. Try not to die on my way to the staircase here. Ooh, lucky bomb drop. Ten rupees, not bad. Try to 
play it careful here. Um, I'm probably gonna end the segment here soon. Yeah, let's end it on this screen after I kill these guys. Oh, that was awesome. Keep watching, guys, for more overworld gathering.